that? <laughs> is that my cue? That is your cue. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. We are here at the Gulfstream Casino in, uh, in Hollandale. We're at an AFL event, Action Fight League event. Uh, their amateur show here at, uh, in Hollandale. It looks like it's an amazing event. It looks like it's going to be a pretty cool event. First time in, uh, in the casino, Gulfstream. If you haven't been to Gulfstream, check it out. It has its shops, it has its uh, restaurants and casinos and, uh, and horse racing at its finest, if you believe it or not. Um, so it, it adds a little bit to the excitement and adds a little bit to the, to the event itself. Um, after the event, from what I understand, we're going to be watching the UFC in pay-per-view. So nobody has to leave. Uh, they can sit here and watch it themselves and uh, have a great time. A little bit about myself and combat sports. Well, uh, I'm a fan like everybody else. I'm, I'm a fan like everybody else. Um, when I got into it, uh, I started dealing with um, the back end of the business side of it, right? I was dealing with um, matchmaking, fighters, um, the cage setups, the whole nine yards, everything it took to, to make a, an MMA show. So basically what happened was um, I started getting more into stats, started getting more into, you know, what makes MMA in Florida, what makes it tick. So I started uh, figuring things out, started creating websites, started creating databases, started creating spreadsheets so that I was in a position to where now I can actually tell someone how many fights we've had this year, how many fighters, and then uh, how many events and all that good stuff. So I said to myself, what good is it if I know all this by myself? So I created the Florida MMA Awards and where we uh, give out awards to those uh, fighters, matchmakers, everybody who was involved for that year in MMA. So we created the Florida MMA Awards, we did all that because of all the knowledge and the bases that we have. And then we created the Florida MMA Events, and um, that's a website at floridammaevents.com where you can go to and check out all the news, all the latest gossip that's going on, all the, all the Good and bad news as well in MMA. Sometimes the the fighters uh, outside the cage may act a certain way, and you'll definitely find it on FloridaMMAEvents.com. So create a FloridaMMAEvents.com, create a Florida MMA Awards. Um, I work with every promotion uh, behind the scenes, whether I'm doing the graphics, websites, whether I'm doing um, you know promotional work, marketing materials, and things like that. Uh, now we've got into Subversive, which is on December 4th, shout outs to the suburbs, but we're dealing with the back end we're now with combat jiu-jitsu and sport jiu-jitsu. So it's not just MMA anymore. Um, the, the scene here in Florida has changed. So now you have um, bare knuckle fighting is, is approved in Florida. So you have bare knuckle fighting, you have MMA, you have amateur, you have pro MMA, you've got combat jiu-jitsu, you've got grappling jiu-jitsu, submission grappling. Uh, Florida has been picking up on their combat sports in total. But you got people like Lisa Z with a Z who is picking up on all this stuff. So get the latest news from her because she is killing it with her show and her podcast. You should check her out. Yeah. What's the problem with your podcast? Well, um, graciously is graciously enough. Um, so we did ten episodes uh, with a certain production company. Um, those 10 episodes actually was great to put in front of a uh, major network. So the major network said, hey, we will give you five shows, a pilot of five shows, and um, we're going to test it out, see what it looks like within our market, within their network. And then if all goes well, um, we'll be nationally syndicated throughout and all that good stuff. So I'm happy for that. I'm excited about it. So we filmed our first show last week um, and our second show last week as well. So we got two shows in the can. Um, we have uh, Dada 5000 was one of our, our guests. And uh, brother, he was real. This guy definitely talked about bare knuckle fighting, everything going down with BYB, the controversy with the, the triad, the cage. Um, it's a platform where people can go and talk about things uh, besides 
uh, more like the back end of the MMA, right? Almost like uh, like uh, the behind the scenes stuff that you normally won't hear being covered on on regular media. And then our, our second show was with um, Hector Lombard. So Hector Lombard, man, that brother broke it down like you would never see. I, I don't see Hector Lombard the same way now that I see him after this interview. I mean, it was an emotional interview. Uh, it's something that you definitely got to gotta tune in. It'll be on PutEmUpPodcast.com, and it'll be on, on the Caracol Spanish Network, and that's the network I was talking to you about um, that they picked us up. And so hopefully... That's all going to be uh, done by next week. So uh, you'll get to see at least two shows. They have us for five. And after the five, of course, we're going to renegotiate and see what we come up with, what platform and what uh, channels and all that good stuff. Man, 2023 fight season, I tell you, it will be exciting. Why? Because the floodgates have opened up. We do have a lot of people coming into Florida. Um, UFC, right? They'll be here next week. And Lisa Z will cover that. Um, we have bare knuckle fighting, we got submission grappling, we got people from other states coming over here and, and getting in with the fight scene, right? So that's exciting for us, for the guys who work behind the scenes, for the media as well, because we get to cover all that, right? But uh, 2023, I see Eagle FC coming to town, of course they'll be here, right? I think they're going to open up their first show in February, so they'll be here. Um, the UFC is planning to come back. Um, our regional local shows, just so that you know, we've done... 145 shows in Florida for 2022. We're closing the year with 145 shows. Within those 145 shows, we have 35 promotions in the state of Florida that are doing those. Now, 35 promotions, that's from the pro and the amateur side of the house, so you got 35. Within those 35, we have four that you can't really consider in Florida promotions. Even though they do shows here, we can't really consider them. That's PFL. That's uh, UFC, um, of course, PFL, UFC, and, and uh, two other ones that, um, that are not really Florida-based, but they're doing Florida. So Combate, you know, Combate Global, as you guys know, they winded up doing 40 shows in Florida, 40 shows, um, which is great for us to have, right? Because it definitely brings us the fighters and brings up the fighters. But I'm excited for 2023. There's going to be a lot of good shows coming up. Check it out on Lisa with a Z podcast. Check them out. Thank you.